Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Jampooty Jams. That's right, Jampooty Jams is the only uh, uh, video series dedicated to Jampoochie heroes. That's right, same the same word spelling said differently. <laughs> and I'm here with Zenrod. Hello, everybody. It's been a while since we've done this, and in that short time frame where we said, damn, we can't record together, that's when uh, Jampoochie decided to just go, fuck it, release them all. <laughs> <laughs> drop release, everything drop everything <laughs> release so, them all release them all so before we actually talk about the units i think it's warranted to talk about the current what they're doing in Chimputi because it's very rare for us to actually have something to talk about um something to talk about in Chimputi that isn't just like oh here are all the units coming out this is actually something that's a little bit I don't know. I know if it's not worrying in the case of like I don't think either one of us thinks that the game is shutting down because we've been with a game that had short and jump characters that was shutting down. Yeah, the... I mean I've been through a few of them, and generally they don't vomit out content quite like this. Like sometimes they do, but this feels just like bait, is what it is. It feels like an insane amount of bait. But also it feels like they're also maybe testing stuff before the anniversary at the same time. Um, so just to do a quick, how many characters were released? Let me see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10, 15, 20, 21 characters in the span of two weeks, basically. <laughs> Revealed and released. And uh, that is a lot. And to be fair, it is a series based off of Shonen Jump, so they have that many characters to release at a single time. That's still an insane amount of time, considering not all these are free to play. A good majority of them are free to play, but a lot of these are banner units. And yeah, and that new banner style also. I wonder if that has something to do with the higher rate of release. Is that the new type of banner they're doing now? Yeah. So that's one. When, once they came out with a new banner style, I was like, okay. I guess maybe they're going to try something out. So let's talk about specifically the new banner style as soon as I can find it. Because there's just so much info since we last picked off. But basically, I think the way it is is that the structure of how you do um, summoning is not different. Because there's two styles, right? They have the old style and the new style for this one. If you want to do it the old way where um, at the end you get the guaranteed limited, you can. But then there's a new banner style where it's the first multi is 500 rupees. Second multi is 750. Third is 1,000. Fourth multi is a guaranteed 5 unit. And then the fifth multi, it's a guaranteed 2 5 units. And then it resets back to where it was. And during all the steps, you get one, um, like, token, um, specifically. And the tokens you can... Uh, trade for some stuff for I guess they're called seals in this in this case for one seal you can get a five ticket fragment for three seals you can get a guaranteed five new hero ticket for seven seals you can get a five new hero choice ticket and ten seals the god of flashiness Tenjin Uze you just get him automatically and for the third seal guaranteed five new hero ticket does not include the limited I think they very specifically said this does not include the limited unit either in the choice or in the other one even though he is new yeah no you yeah if you want the limited unit you have to do the 10 10 and i think it is i think only slightly more expensive like 250 more expensive um it's an interesting banner style so what kind of banner style did you go for because i know you're someone who usually likes to get multiples of um you you usually like to go for the side banner units as well as the main banner units, if it's a specific yeah. character that you like. Um, it kind of depends, because, like, if you get the the limited in the actual pulls, these new banners are better. Yes. Um, if you don't, they're worse. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. that's basically how it is. Like, if you get the new limited, being able to just get one of the side characters for free, like, automatically, yeah. um, is really good, right? Um. But if you don't get them, and you end up having to get them, it's it's objectively a little bit worse to get the guaranteed limited. And because you have to spend it all on the guaranteed limited, you come out of it with like just hoping you happen to roll a side character, which almost never happens with the one you want, because the side character pool is always multiple characters. Like yeah. I did get um, Uzui, mm -hmm. and I had to pity him. Um, mm. And I wanted to get Shinji. That was the character I was actually going for. 
Um, <laughs> didn't get him. I got June uh, instead, which I don't care about at all. But uh, I got the World Trigger guy. Even with your newfound appreciation for World Trigger, still not the I one do like it, but I don't like it like I like uh, Shinji, the, no, one of the enough. dopest Bleach characters. All right, fair enough. And you have no feelings for Magnus Wing <laughs> from Black Clover. Uh, no, no, not Magnus <laughs> Wing. <laughs> He's actually, like, I, I like him more than most Black Clover characters, but I, right, I certainly wouldn't pursue him. Uh, like the other Black Clover characters that we've ta- we've I've seen, that name is amazing. <laughs> I think that's about where I'm, I'm at at that current moment. But just to get back to this, yeah. So even though, so even if you did all the offerings, like the guaranteed five units, I think you would end up getting six five units in general. Um, six units in a pool of what is I feel over a hundred isn't the greatest. No, Actually, it's not. It's not. Um, generally, like a guaranteed five on its own has very little value. I mean, that's that's not entirely fair. Like, it doesn't have no value. It is obviously better than not getting one. Mm-hmm. But as like a selling point, if you put a banner out in front of me that was just like, "Hey, this is a guaranteed five star banner of any five stars that have ever been in the game," I would not pull on it ever. No, it if, if it costs rubies. So, like, you know. Yeah, there's just so many, and there's so many that are bad, which is the main thing. Yeah, which I think they said they are trying to work on something to make them a little bit better. I think that was one of the things that they said they were working on their roadmap. Unfortunately, that's not here till like close to anniversary or after anniversary, so you just kind of have to stick. I don't expect any sort of meaningful character upgrades for a very long time. Uh, And if we do get some, I think it's going to be like a crazy grind to get Mm. them. Yeah, I think that's especially now that we have um, rechargeable stamina with um, the water bottles stuff. Yeah, the, the little drinks. Yeah, the yeah. little drinks now. I feel like they've already kind of upped some of the grind of like adding some random elements into things. You're I also to think grind. that the rechargeable stamina is also part of the reason that we're getting an uptick in like shit. Mm, you think so? Um, be- well, because every banner character has an event character alongside it. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Like Magna has the girl, um, Shinji has Hiori, and uh, the World Trigger guy has someone. Who's the World Trigger guy have? June has um, shit. What? Who does? Who does he have? Mitsuru. So, okay. Okay. Yeah. So all three of them have a character like opposite them for an event, and so does obviously the the limiteds as well. So it's like Jesus, man. <laughs> you know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I think the fact that because stamina was a big complaint in this game for like a long time, like ever since I really started, which was not I'm not like an OG, but I played for a, a while. Um, and the one of the biggest complaints was like they want to give us content, but there's no way to play it because you know unless you spend rubies on stamina, you can't like finish it in a timely fashion. Um, so it makes the grind feel even worse because you're doing it every single day and then you run out of stamina and you just can't play anymore unless you want to spend on stamina, which some people did. Some people didn't. I usually wouldn't unless it was like a character I really wanted. Mm -hmm. Um, So like, you know, it it was kind of hit or miss for me. I much prefer having the recoverable drinks, but I do think that is why uh, we're getting an uptick in like content also. Yeah. I think that uh, because now that we can do it, they're like, make them do it. (laughs) <laughs> there's nothing holding them back now that's yeah that's true that's, that is <laughs> they've complained about stamina for so damn long and now we're gonna give them just so many things to do unleash hell basically uh yeah the other thing i would say specifically about the the rate of release is that i i think the new banner thing is them trying to head towards a way and i think they're still working on it um but basically they really need to find a better way to either make the banners better or make give us more rupees because the rate of release is not enough to be sustainable for anyone <laughs> like no uh well the the thing is i don't know if they want it to be this is a game that has always very much to me felt like um you're you're chasing for like a specific reason right cuz like even a lot of limited characters aren't good 
per se, or, or like they don't come out of the box like crazy. Yeah. Like, so, uh, who's a good example? Like, even recently, um, hang on, let me pull up the Discord because I, I, I need to look at a list of them to see them all in my. I, I can't envision say, them all in my brain. I was gonna say Jotaro, but uh, I think there's actually people who use him in at PvP. I've, I've at he's least... PvP pretty good, yeah. yeah. Um, um, but I mean, like Kaneko Man wasn't that long ago, you know. Like Law was not that long ago, and these are characters that are absolutely not must. Like uh, even Susano Sasuke. Like, these aren't must-have characters. Like, every time a limited drops in this game, they're not a character, like, that you can't live without. Or if they are, it's very rare. Um, like, the the Musos, I think, are closer to can't live without, except for maybe Hashirama. Um, but I do think Hashirama's really good, too. But, like, Vegito and um, whatever the Hitman Reborn guy are both, like, yeah. crazy good. Yeah. Uh, and then there's just some that have come out that are crazy good, like uh, Momotaro's crazy good, um, the Asta Yuno duo unit are crazy good, Toriko and Boruto are both crazy good. But like a lot of the best limiteds in the game are ones that have been around for a long time. Like uh, just looking at the tier list right now, mm -hmm. in the SS tier for red, you've got Toriko and Boruto who are both like really new. But then other than that, it's Hiei, Tanjiro, and uh, Exodia Yugi, who have been around for ages, you know? Or, like, in SS tier, you've got the Yuno Asta duo, and then every single other SS tier unit has been around for a long time. It's like Josuke, Minato, uh, the Naruto Sasuke duo that came out in the second anniversary, I think. Mm -hmm. Like, it's. There's a crazy high rate of release, I agree, 100%. But. It's not necessarily a rate of power creep, no, so I'm not that bothered by it. Yeah, it's it's not a case of like uh, what's the gotcha that's really bad. I think it was probably Grand Cross is the one I'm thinking of where every other unit felt like, hey, this is basically a new power creep because it's PvP based. It's like, oh my god, this is the new hot strong strong thing, and then at a certain point they stopped because they released a unit so strong that it was impossible to get past them. But for a very, very a long while, it was just like, oh, this is the new thing, this is the new thing, this is the new thing. And um, that kind of... I mean, of another good example is uh, Duel Links. Is like, you know, every time a box comes out in Duel Links, you're probably expecting whatever the featured archetype is to start dominating, right? Like, yes. Yeah. That's just how it is. And this game very much doesn't feel that way. Like, there are units that you can see coming out, and you know that unit's going to be crazy. Like, Boruto is ridiculous. That unit is so fucking stupid. He's like a top-tier PvE character. He's a top-tier PvP character. He does fucking everything. Like, there are kits that you see, and you know they're going to be good. And there are kits that you see that are kind of more confusing. Uh, like, I mean, when did Sage of Six Paths Naruto come out? Like, pretty recently, right? Yes, I would say he was the uh, like the, he was like two weeks ago, ago, right? Oh, oh, well, I think yeah. a month ago at most. Yeah, well, the the PVE people have him in low A tier, like mm. almost not even worth going after for PVE only. So it's like, you know, the the power creep just isn't there to make me afraid of the release rate just yet. Yeah, yeah, I think that's a that's a fair thing to say about it. The thing I'll say about it is that a lot of these characters are ones that I like. And that's the problem yes, so where that, it comes in. That's the crux of it being a shonen game, like a crossover game, right? Is yeah. that you look at these characters like Uzui, I decided to get him and just like empty my resources to get him is because like I really like him and I had already started trying to get Shinji and it didn't happen, so I might as well get him. He's my favorite Demon Slayer character, so I was like, fuck it, I might as well. And I do I did end up using him in PvP and I actually think he's really good. Um so that was just kind of a happy coincidence. But I wasn't pulling for that purpose. I was just like at the point now where I was like, I have the rubies already. I've saved them up. I, you know, kind of want the guy. I might as well just go ahead and get him. <laughs> that's yeah, yeah. the reality of the situation. That That's the part where it's like, because it is a Shonen Jump game, it's an extra added layer. Like, for example, a good example is something like a Dragon Ball gotcha. Not going to name any specifically. But let's say if they were releasing similar limiteds in a way, it's like, oh, this one is for a limited for Namek Piccolo. And it's like, well, 
I don't really feel all that. Yeah, he's good. Or maybe, yeah, he's not. But even if how good he is, it's still just Namek Piccolo, so I feel like I can skip. It's a completely different story when they give that specific kit to a character where it's like, all right, one, 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 ban- one limited banner, it's Namek Piccolo followed up with, like, um, Boo Saga Krillin. He's the limited now. I've now created the world's greatest Dokkan Gacha, by the way. Uh, <laughs> But it's specifically some, because it's one series. They're going so like so laser focused that you lose a lot of people in what you pick. But it's different in a Shonen Jump game where you're literally like Willy Wonka up in this bitch, where you can literally pick anyone mm-hmm. from anything, and, and it can be the most because it's a Shonen world. Jump game too. Like it's like you said, it's not quite as laser focused, so they don't have to worry about like we got to sell the new Goku, you know, yeah. because. People in a Shonen Jump game, resources are managed a little bit differently, right? Like, because people who collect, no matter how good, like, a Saint Seiya character is, no matter how powerful they are, if you don't like Saint Seiya and you're not playing for meta, it doesn't matter how strong they are, you don't care. You're not going to pull for them. So those resources can go elsewhere. So then when you have, like, a Bleach event come out... You don't need every single Bleach event to be Ichigo. You can actually use other characters because people who like Bleach are going to want those characters even if they're not like the hottest shit in the world. So like mm-hmm. Dragon Ball can drop an event that's just go tanks and not give a shit about needing to like or you know like boo. They can just drop boo and be like here you go and not have to make a big fucking deal about it. It's true. Yeah. Yeah, it's a very interesting structure that they have for it and it ends up being there's a lot of positives and negatives for it and i think the biggest one i think it wasn't a problem for me up until i realized that not only are we doing all this where we're getting i think the 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 the, the thing that broke the, the the broke it for me was the fact that sabo was limited and sabo was the one where it's like well if he's a side banner unit i think i'll go for him but when they made him a limited i was like come on man <laughs> <laughs> yeah let me go that was good too <laughs> let me Aren't breathe both the sabos limited i think yes i think actually both sabos are uh i think yeah we are, have yeah. two sabos in the game and both of them are red and both of them are limited so well the other one to be fair the other one sucks so yeah well the the, the one in the top hat is fucking god awful but the new one's really good so it's if you really like smart. sabo he's not grab that anymore. new one that's the thing. Oh yeah, he's he's hardened by the world, so now he's top tier. Exactly. They they don't. He's uh he's finally realized his place in the revolutionary army. He's ready to kill the rich, not eat them. <laughs> and he's down for it. But yeah, I think that was the thing. Was like where I was like looking at Sabo. I was like Sabo is really good. I really like Sabo. But literally on the horizon is Hunter uh Hunter X Hunter and Yu Yu Hakusho collab followed up with the fucking anniversary that we still don't know anything about. But everyone's not everyone, but I think a good majority of people think that the Muso is probably Roger from One Piece. So it's another One Piece character right afterwards. And it's just like, yeah, I've seen a lot of people say Roger. I don't know if they're basing that off anything though, other than just like One Piece popular. Uh, the and reason Roger, is, big strong guy. The reason is, is that every uh, the, Roger has recently done a single move. Um, so now that he's actually been shown as the crazy, oh, he he's guys, revealed a, a technique that they can he, use. Basic, yeah. Finally, yes, one hundred percent, yes. For the first time ever, Roger has done a move that was sick as fuck. It took nine hundred chapters to get there in the middle of a fucking war arc, but we got there where Roger finally did something, even though he's been dead. So even so, you know, you could say like, well, he why would he why would they show why he's so strong when they already established yeah he was strong and then he died and then uh, he was the pirate king, but they finally showed him doing a single move in the past, and every single the second they did it. As soon as they hit anniversary, every single One Piece gotcha was like, new Roger confirmed. <laughs> every single one of them. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that does make sense, because, like, they dropped Uzui for that same reason. They're like, oh, Demon Slayer Season 2 popping off? Bam, in the game. Yeah. <laughs> Already. So I think that's the reason why most people think it's Roger, is because Roger has finally been shown to do something. That's fair. And, I mean, a lot of people yeah. were calling that it was going to be Roger, though, back when Super Vegito came out. That was like the two really? that they they were definitely saying it was going to be. It was either Roger or Vegito, and it did end up being Vegito, but still. 
I think it might just be because they're the the biggest ones, for, which is funny to think about. Like, I can't escape Vegito and how dominant he is, but he really is just super popular. <laughs> I sometimes forget, just because I've been uh, brainwashed to hate him in other games. But he is a super popular Dragon Ball character, and it's it's sick when he shows up. And I think Roger is probably the same thing. But if it wasn't Roger, I honestly do think I'm on that. Um, Jujutsu Kaisen Kopi, I'm with you, and I'm saying I think it's time. <laughs> Where it's gotta be, it's gotta be time. It's gotta. I don't be know time. what's holding them up, dude. Like, how many um fucking crossovers with like first person shooter games can Jujutsu Kaisen <laughs> get before it actually gets in the damn Shonen Jump game? Too many. I still like the the theory I have where because the the naked blo- the naked boy was able to get in because his uh, mangaka basically said like, hey, can you add him? I play your game. I really like it. Can you add him? I think that'd be sick. And they added him. I want to say it's the opposite where <laughs> he's being held back. <laughs> Akita, they're like, Akatami, please, can we put Gojo in? He's like, no. Absolutely not. <laughs> you Never. may not even think about it. Don't ask me for shit. All right. Well, he says no. So I guess we can't do it. And it's obviously a fake uh probably not what actually happened but if there was anything that i would say that would probably hold him back is that someone is saying not yet someone behind the scenes is saying wait a little bit more and waiting for what i don't know (laughs) but i think a fourth anniversary would make the more the most sense um but at the same token it could literally be anyone anyone that could be potentially hype in terms of the big ones let's see it's a one piece and then what other big ones have actually they already did the naruto one so they can't do naruto and they i don't know why they picked the person they did for theirs but um they picked the first okage um i mean hashirama is a big deal in naruto lore he's like the the, guy he is the guy but he is is he the also the most popular guy from naruto that no but he's up there i think i think like he has a good mix of like legendary status and popularity Mm. all right fair because like you couldn't really make it naruto or sasuke i mean i guess you could but you can make it naruto and sasuke and you can be it when they have the one arm and when they're doing the goofy goober and they're dying next to each other that'd be a (laughs) sick uh musoi (laughs) their victory pose is just laying there on the ground bleeding yeah um i don't think it's time yet for the demon slayer musoi but that's also a possibility (laughs) I don't know. Yeah, well, you never count out Demon Slayer, basically. You know you can't. They could I, release a aged up uh, Nezuko and the form she takes in the whatever the red light district arc. They could easily release that as a Muso any day now. Shit, you're right. <laughs> that would that would actually get me. That would even be more pissed at that point because of how much <laughs> how long I'd have to uh, um, how little resources I would have at that point, but. Yep. There's, there's just the only thing I think they need to do different with Musos, this is kind of off topic, but mm. I really wish that they would re-release them outside of when they release a new one. Because they're already such a crazy resource investment to get one that like the only time, like I've been kind of thinking about trying to get Hashirama because I like him and I've been thinking about wanting to get him, but every time they re-release him, I have to pick between him and the new one, and the new one's always better than him. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like, good. fuck. It's kind of a bummer for it, for sure. I think they're um, maybe they'll start doing a little better by that, but it's hard to know. It's hard to yeah, know. Yeah, that's a lot of faith to put in them. Yeah, it is. And at the end of the day, this is a gotcha, so they will gladly pick the thing that will give them the most money. Yep. At the end of the day, but uh, I think yeah, that's basically all. We just I just wanted to talk about it just because it's something that's so weirdly prevail prevalent in the game. Usually, a lot of the game is just kind of like, oh shit, new dude's sick. You summon or you don't summon, you get them, you get the free to play, and we move on to the next event. And we wait to see who's next. But it's just like the rate of release has just been so crazy that it actually made me stop and go like, hey, can we fucking talk about this real quick? <laughs> this is kind of messed up. Yeah, I mean, I think a lot of it comes down to we have rechargeable stamina now. Anniversary is coming soon, and they want to zero your shit out. And, like, that's about it, basically. Yeah. And it's a download celebration, so like, of course, we're gonna do two big ones. We're gonna do Demon Slayer. We're gonna do One Piece, and uh, yeah, we don't care that the collab is next. And we told you, like, this also is not a case of just like it's being sprung up on us. The thing that was sprung up is Sabo being eliminated. I think that was the one that was like, okay, we didn't know that, but fair enough. But everything else they've told us beforehand was gonna happen. We completely forgot that Siren was gonna be next, and they told us specifically Siren was gonna be next. <laughs> Yeah, there's literally a thing in the roadmap that's like Siren Event, 
and yeah, everyone's like, ah, whatever. <laughs> Everyone yeah. just kind of Forgot. ceased. And then they have like a small week celebration of sorts. So it's not like they're springing it up and being like, ah, damn. It's more like, damn. Well, I will say the the Saints AI one was actually kind of surprising for me. I didn't actually expect them to drop a limited next to it. <laughs> that was a yeah. That's like... the one that that caught me off guard. That he almost just felt like he came out of completely out of left field. Like where yeah. what? Why is he here? He is a, the funny thing is I'm pretty sure he's also a limited in t- the Taiwanese version of the game, but oh, very really? rarely they rarely keep them over. Yeah. yeah, very very rarely do they actually get to keep their status that they had in Taiwan. Yeah, like uh, Kamui Kakashi was a limited in, in the Taiwanese version, and he's not in this one. Yuzen, the new uh, PvP character that we got, was a fucking Musoi over in Taiwan, <laughs> and we got him as a free. Was it like... Kaiba also a limited in Taiwan? Yes, Abos he was. Kaiba. Yeah, he was. Uh, Taiwan is also, from what I've been told by someone who plays it, fucking crazy. It's like the Mugen of Jimpudi, where <laughs> it's just, just crazy overpowered. They just with throw all shit all over the place. Yeah, it sure feels that way. Because that's... Taiwan, I don't know if this is a rumor or not, but they're they're different because they can't use JoJo, right? Yeah, I believe so. That is the case. They're not allowed to use JoJo characters, so they have to get other characters to kind of uh, fill So they've the released gaps. different limiteds to fill the gap, yeah. Yeah, and, and I guess in general, like, things that they would probably care about more. Like, the reason I think Yuzen probably wasn't a Musoi for us over here is that I think just Hoshienji is probably a little bit more liked over in Taiwan compared to over here. Compared okay. to over here I where mean, I say Kaiba, Japan. I mean, Kaiba, though, you'd think... Yeah, Japan over here. Uh, Kaiba, though, you'd think would be Yeah, I don't big, know why, Yeah, but... Kaiba would be. I think it's more them afraid of making villains limited outside of like once or twice a year like orochimaru when he came out he also was like it, it, there was an acknowledgement of this doesn't happen very often we're bringing back all the villains just to let you know specifically we know that we just gave a, a villain a limited like they make a big deal out of it and i think kaiba's yeah, in a yeah. weird weird place where he's both technically uh, especially the manga version of kaiba who is a fucking villain there is no denying yeah there's, well there's... by the time he has obelisk though that's like the no. most heroic he ever is <laughs> No, he's still a fucking dick. What do you fucking? Uh, I mean, he's what? a dick, but he's not like evil. He saves Taya and Joey. He does not save Joey. He watches Joey die and then go. I'm finally glad that you did something with your life, Joey. <laughs> you showed me. No, 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 no. He he saves him um, when the uh, anchor pulls him into the ocean. He he throws yes, the key yeah, to him in the water. Yeah. No, that, but that when he dies from win. Eric, he's just like <laughs> idiot yes. and leaves. Yeah. Yeah, there, he finally gets some respect after his. I think it, no, what was it? It's he goes like, I finally respect you as a duelist, and it's like everyone's like, this is the moment Kaiba finally acknowledges Joey, and then the next fucking chapter, it's basically him yelling at Yugi, the body's still warm, but I need you to get your head in the game. <laughs> we need. We yeah, need. what what does he say? He says, uh, step over the corpse of your friend and return here to duel me. <laughs> mourn for the 15 minutes you have and come face me and fight for the gods he's basically acknowledging like yes take your time but also we have a fucking tournament to go to and i think yeah but, like uh, we're, we're busy though so yeah. you know hurry fa- up yeah and to be fair to kaiba at the end when mokopa's like yo bro come on and he's like damn you're right goes aboard you're right kid you yeah. got in my head so we're just gonna. <laughs> Those are really fucked me up. Yeah, actually, my favorite part is when uh, Kaiba is talking about Gozabara. He's like, "I learned that my inventions were being used for war, so I had them all dismantled." And then everyone's like, "Oh damn, Kaiba really is someone." And then you sh- you see Joey, and he goes in his head, "Oh yeah, but what about the fucking death theme part that you created?" Yeah, I know. That's that's one of my favorite panels because that shit never happens in manga. No one's ever like, "Okay, but what about all the times you were the worst?" No, like. I- People just let it go normally. And Yugi yeah. was all about letting it go. He was like, wow, Kaiba. He and is. Joey was like, hold on a fucking second. <laughs> you put me in a death theme park. I had to fight a serial killer with a baby. <laughs> I'm not going to let that go. Which is also funny because that's one of the very few times that the duelist continuity even acknowledges the, the pre-Duel Monster stuff. Yeah, I think they had to put like a little note. Hey, check out Yu-Gi-Oh! beforehand to see some of this shit because it goes wild. I think it actually does. In like, it might be in the English version only, but I think in the Viz version, it does actually have like an asterisk that says yeah. you should go back and read pre Duelist Yu Gi Oh. Yeah. Because I assume it's Viz that broke Yu Gi Oh up, sort of like how they broke up um, Dragon Ball into Dragon Ball Z, mm-hmm. which obviously wasn't a Japanese thing. No, it's not. Because so. Yu Gi Oh has like four different 
designations. It's really weird. Yeah, it, it's Yu-Gi-Oh, Yu-Gi-Oh Duelist, Yu-Gi-Oh R for some reason, and then it's Yu-Gi-Oh Malone. R is, I think, a spinoff. Like, I don't think Takahashi did R, but I guess I don't know if that's true or not. No, that's the um, weird one where it, it they're talking about someone trying to avenge Pegasus, I think, and Bandit. King yeah, and it's like the the evil god cards before GX also made evil god cards. Yeah. Um, yeah, but the I think the Takahashi ones are Yu-Gi-Oh, which is the pre Duel Monsters stuff specifically. Duel Monsters is in it, but it's not the focus. Mm-hmm. Um, then Yu-Gi-Oh Duelist, which is Duelist Kingdom and Battle City. Uh, and then Millennium World, which is the shadow RPG against Bakura. That's really is Millennium World its own thing. I thought it was a part of. Um, I thought it was a part of the original Yu Gi Oh thing, but continue on. Nope. With what you were uh, they yeah the the Viz version at least. I don't know if it's in the Japanese version or not, but um, the Viz version Yu Gi Oh Millennium World is its own thing. It's sixty six chapters with its own heading. Hmm. Do you remember what the original name for Dual Monsters is? Magic and Wizards? Yes. Fantastic name. Magic and Wizards. I just wanted to let yes. you know that it's not called <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh! in Yu-Gi-Oh! It's called <laughs> Magics and Wizards. The yeah, most... well, because they, they originally had, like, lore behind it, too, where they were like, the player is represented as, like, a, a spellcaster who's, like, summoning monsters with magic and, like actually casting spells and then in the actual dual monsters they kind of went away from that and they're just like you're just playing cards do you know why it's like that in the original one or yeah. when, why did they move away from it no no like why what what the why the lore behind it is like that uh no i have no idea uh it's because uh the he's a big fan of magic the gathering and that is actually the lore of magic the gathering where in magic the gathering you are playing as a planeswalker and you are the one uh, casting all the spells, and a planeswalker can walk between multiple, basically realms, and do your magic shit. That's why that they. That's why they explain how you can visit so many different worlds, and why you're visiting is that you yourself are actually a planeswalker, and you're going through some stuff. And then later lore, they're like, yeah, you can also join forces with other planeswalkers who have abilities like you, and you can play them, and they're different from everyone else. It's really funny that it's like, yeah, he was a big fan of Magic: The Gathering. Was like, damn, Magic: The Gathering is fucking awesome. Let me. <laughs> make a, a, a basically a parody of it in my thing and then it turned into its own thing and it's really great it's like my favorite part about it is like i think when you ask him he's like yeah i really like magic the gathering <laughs> i really did so that's why it's it's like yeah that. i mean that's mostly what it was originally yeah so that's why a little bit of that lord that's why he also probably i think he went away from it because he's like if i continue down this road <laughs> It's gonna be a little bit of a problem because well, this that's was... why they changed uh, magic cards too to spell cards. Yeah, yeah. Because now that they they had potential to go against the, the, to be fair, I don't think there was any like threats. I think it was more like by the time magic, they I had, think it was they had preemptive. Realized. Yeah, yeah. By the time that they realized it, they're like, oh, okay, it's fine. Um shit this is also off topic do you remember that uh other card game anime from back in the day duelist something duel master not master duel it was called duel something Duel masters duel masters there you go uh duel masters actually recently did a collab with magic the gathering and they did um duel masters still exists yes also here's the crazy thing duel masters still exists and also they did a japanese only collab with magic the gathering where they made specific magic the gathering cards into the style of um that's pretty cool yeah it is and it it, it was like this is awesome also i want this to happen with Yu-Gi-Oh. i need the yeah why not Yu-Gi-Oh though instead (laughs) yeah it's kind of like when they did the was it capcom versus snk and you're kind of like oh this is sick but by the time they did it there were other big fighting games because you're like "Mm, you know would be also sick if they did it with like uh maybe tekken or mortal kombat is maybe the impossible one uh the thing that we will never have ever because it's impossible to put Mortal Kombat and uh, anyone from Capcom together without making such huge caveats that the entire game changes. <sighs> Collabs. But anyway, <laughs> n- now that we've uh, talked about that, I think it's time to talk. This is going to be very fast because there's so many units and we're not about to spend the next seven hours together. So let's just nope, quickly. We're going to speed through this shit. There's oh my okay. God, there's so many. 
We're going to give a There's quick... 21. Good 21 God. 21 characters. We're going to give a quick, I'm sorry to Siren. We have not read either one of it. I don't know what a Siren is. We are going to talk about the big unit, but if it turns out the tiny units, we've got some dudes like Dolki, Hiryu Asaga, Oboro Mochisuki, Kyle, uh, Tatsuo Mana. He has a last name, but I just like that his first name is Kyle. Tatsuo Mana, Kagatora Hyoda, Matsuri Yagumo. And that is it for the Siren characters. And the big Siren character is, of course, Akiga Yoshina, who is, I assume, the main character from Siren. And Zen, what does this man do? Because he's actually very good. I actually almost pulled for him. Yeah, the he is like, is he the main character? I don't, I don't know anything about Siren. Fuck, I'm not even gonna bother questioning it. Okay, yeah, uh, don't question <laughs> me. I'm the Siren expert. This is the main character from Siren. <laughs> okay. So his ult is 500% damage to one enemy. If they're a special class enemy, it does an additional 30. So that's 530%. Uh, removes the strongest ultimate attack damage boost from all enemies, and for two turns, he gives uh, an 18,000 bleed which is really good. And then, uh, obviously, everyone knows what Bleed does, but his Bleed stack is an additional 15,000, which is really good. Um, I mean, it's not like the craziest Bleed ever, but for all the other stuff with a Bleed on top of it, pretty good. His buddy skill is the left bubble below the center to a skill bubble, boost its radius by one, convert five random to yellow, and convert two blocks into yellow, and then recover 3,000, or in the tower, 170,000. <laughs> He's he's that guy, but for yellow, uh, which is so ridiculous. And then his passive is reduce bomb damage received. I'm guessing that the enemy that was his counter one must have used bomb damage. I didn't play too much of the Siren event, I'm going to be completely honest with you. There wasn't a um, lot of it. <laughs> he was yeah. a bomb character, but there wasn't a lot of it. <laughs> During turns one to four of the adventure, before his turn, convert one blue and two heart into rainbows. Uh, if the enemy is special, reduce the number of bubbles required to create a skill by 3, and reduce damage by 600 or 100,000 in the tower. And if the enemy is balanced, reduce the bubbles required by 2, and reduce damage received by 16,000 or 70,000 in the tower. So he's like a very specific counter boy. Mm-hmm. Um, for like those... I mean, I think he's good in PvP and like decent in PvE. I think he's better for PvP personally. But yeah, that that skill of his, his friendship skill, kind of makes him un. Oh yeah, he's a he's a must have like buddy in PvP for sure. I yeah, I agree with that. And if you don't have, if you're using him as an attack, you should have one of those dudes that copies the main ability of it because that ability is just so. Which stupid. is Kenshiro. Yeah, he's it's so crazy, stupid, bro. <laughs> I think they might have made a mistake, and it makes me actually wonder what they have for anniversary that could uh, stop some of these dudes. Because I think a full team with every single one of these healing characters is borderline impossible to kill unless you got an uh, insane amount of DPS on your side. It's just so impossible to kill, especially there. I've seen certain runs where people go a little bit defensive. So they specifically make it where the fourth character, who is the one that is the one that usually does all the damage. Um, you have so much defense that it doesn't matter. And... Yeah, kind of the way that like that I structure my PvP teams now is I make sure to use... Uh, this guy is actually the only one that I don't use of all the healers um, because I don't use a yellow offensive character like outside of my leader slot. Sometimes I'll put Dio in the leader slot and I'll have a yellow, but even then I wouldn't put this guy on the, my first guy. Yeah. But uh, I use a red, a green, and a blue specifically to use all three of those healers and make sure that I'm maximizing their usefulness. <laughs> so I use Borto. Uh, right now I'm using Borto, Uzui, and Part 4 Jotaro just to get as much healing as possible. Like, I don't even bring um, like the Cowboy Girl anymore. No no point. Yeah. Um, I don't bring the Snake Boy or Kakashi anymore. No point. Like, a flat 170 is so ridiculous. It's insane. It really is. Um and that makes it's it not so... uncommon for either me or like people i've seen like i've fought against to heal like almost 400k in one turn yeah it, it's it's insane and i feel it feels that way with me having one where i feel like i have one and i have an advantage over a lot of other people just because the healing is too much for them to kind of go over so i can't imagine going against anyone that has more than one and if i go against someone with two it already feels like an uphill battle and if i ever <laughs> met someone who had all of them i'm just gonna give up i'm not even gonna try anymore i'm gonna stop all my tactics and just <laughs> go for whatever the hell i want um 
So yeah, he was really good. Unfortunately, you can't get him anymore because by this time he's already been long past. But if you're waiting for Siren, if you're a fan of Siren, they've done your boy right by giving him this buddy skill because I feel like that basically makes him evergreen for a while. Oh yeah, I mean that buddy skill is like you can't you can't do anything about it. Like the only way to make that not good is to either release someone who heals even more than him, or release someone who like has some sort of negate healing all he yeah all healing is turned into damage or something right like (laughs) there's no way to make that bad yeah and they would never do that that would last for more than like if it lasted the entire time i think they would actively just kill a certain (laughs) they would be killing an entire uh subset of buddies yeah i mean he heals like an entire tick of multiple status ailments off like uzwi's bomb um when it's resisted because bombs do damage based on color so like if the bomb explodes on a red, it will do resisted damage. It only does about 130. So, like, they're completely healing off his bomb. If it's super effective, it does, like, almost 300. So that's good. But, you know. Yeah. yeah. But either way, they've done good by him. Good for them. Um, happy for Siren, as always. They waited a long time, and to be fair, they got a lot of characters from the, the series. So yeah. Hopefully it was well worth the wait. And some of these characters actually look kind of nice. I like the look of Matsuri. So... And I, again, I like that there is a man just named Kyle. I think that's great. I love it when a Japanese <laughs> series just has a character where it's like, oh yeah, the other characters, Hiryu, Oboro, Dolaiki, Tatsuo, Kagatora, Matsuri, Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. And speaking of uh, other series now, because they came out at the same time, uh, we also have Poseidon and Hyoga. Hyoga is the limited. Poseidon is the character from the new event, the Sparks of Lost Civilization. He's So he's free, and you can get him that way. Do you have any thoughts on the Sparks of the Lost Civilization event, by the way? I've only been uh, able to do it's like It's not that fun. <laughs> it's a little bit like, yeah, because it's points-based, so it feels like you have to I mean, lose. it's literally just like nuke, do nuke teams over and over again. Like, yeah, yeah. I can see that being a little bit of a, like, eh, nuking not the greatest. But anyway, Hyoga. Tell us what Hyoga does, Zen. Hyoga is, his ultimate is 510% damage to one enemy if they are special, an additional 40, so it would be 550%. Remove the strongest attack boost from every enemy, and for two turns, boost his attack by 20%. And for two turns, guard 30% of all counterattack damage. So he, like, can negate counter damage. Um... His buddy is convert the outer border of the board to rainbow, so like the outside ring, uh, excluding blocks and skills. For one turn, taunt enemies to target whoever his buddy is, and for three turns, boost the ultimate attack damage of blue and yellow by 24. His passive is reduce the number of bubbles required to negate bind by 11, so I mean, great, I guess. Mm -hmm. Uh, boost this unit's ultimate attack damage by 13%. If the enemy is DPS class, reduce the number of skills required to create a bubble by 2. Or, sorry, bubbles to create a skill by 2. Reduce damage received by 1,000 or 100,000 in the tower. If the enemy is special, reduce the number of bubbles required to create a skill uh, by 3, and reduce damage received by 600 or or 70,000 in the tower. Hmm. So he's, he's okay. I don't like him as much as I like the Siren guy. Yeah, I think he's a probably a little bit more built for PvE, especially with that bind um, passive skill built into him. And, uh, yeah. It's interesting, again, that... Um, yeah, especially with the anti-guard stuff like that. For for example, counter-attack damage is not something that really is um, a huge problem in PvP, but definitely is in, <laughs> in PvE. I've seen plenty of hard boss fights where they counter me for like 5,000 damage. And also there taunt- actually is a counter build in uh, PvP, but it's rare. Yeah, that's the thing. Is if it was more prevalent, it'd be a little bit of a different story, but it's not really. Um, yeah, it's like Kenshin, Odin, and then I think I have some just some guy in the back. Yeah. And having a taunt skill is basically... Literally, you may as well just say this is just for PvE because I don't really. Yeah, taunt. <laughs> taunt is useless in PvP. Yeah, in PvP it's useless, and PvE very useful though, especially if you use in the the right context and the right fight. So, yeah, none of us are a big uh, Saint Seiya dudes, or as we know them, Knights of the Zodiac. <laughs> Fantastic <laughs> translation. 
Uh, I feel like I should like Saint Seiya because there is actually a huge following in Saint Seiya in Mexico, where Mexico absolutely fucking loves Saint Seiya, which is why I think um, Pegasus Seiya got announced over in Mexico <laughs> when they were Did doing it really? ju- when they were doing Jump Force when they were like, oh, here's an event in Latin America. And then they revealed the Pegasus, and everyone's like, "Why did they reveal that?" And then me instantly went like, "Got it. <laughs> it's it was for them. Got them. Yeah, they got them. <laughs> Absolutely loved. I think when you actually go into Mugen, there's two types of uh, Mexican characters made. One of them are bad Mexican uh, Dragon Ball characters, and the other ones are bad <laughs> Saint Seiya ones. <laughs> the ones that do like one hit and deal like a thousand damage and kill you in one hit. <laughs> Those are the kind of ones that get uh, made by specifically people from Mexico. Uh, also, I think in Netflix, the dub options for Saint Seiya are Japanese and Spanish. So that should really tell you huh. who, who is yeah. out here. Who is it for? Um, but yeah, again, not really. Doesn't really do much for us. I always wanted to, but it's also one of the, it's too old. So it's very hard to actually find good scans of it. Um which sucks they should really i don't know put it in the jump app <laughs> because they have it and they released all of yeah the i don't know why they don't release a lot of like the classic stuff on the jump app i'm gonna say it's a money thing and the, that probably thing is... like they probably don't expect it to have enough readership or something like that i think they actually probably have a lot of readership i think they don't want to make the price hike from a dollar 99 to i don't know five bucks or something because it could the licensing cost must be fucking astounding for some of the older series so that's the reason i think hunter hunter x hunter and yu yu Hakusho show are not on it and jojo takes a little bit of time because they're just like we have to but it's out. weird because like they they have the volumes on there it is but you have you have to buy them so there's probably a, like a specific deal of like it would cost too much of a for us to actually have them on like a I guess I guess it just seems them. weird that like you would have digital distribution rights only for like purchasable volumes but not otherwise. But I mean, yeah. I ain't a marketer. I don't know how that works. Yeah. And also Japanese licensing shit is a nightmare. So I bet it's very tough. The fact that it exists at all is a kind of mark of like, oh my god, this is amazing. But I would also gladly pay like an extra 3 bucks for like a jump plus plus where it actually included like some of the old had stuff. actually everything <laughs> yeah it had actually everything on it like I, w- I would be down for that it's like damn i get all this old shit and you are acknowledging the fact like yo this shit's expensive can you pay us more and i'm like yes <laughs> gladly <laughs> if it means unlimited longer than the way that i want then yes i'll do it but yeah saying say yeah good for the saints i do i know at least one guy who's hyped for it i'm i hope he was able to get him next let's oh, that's go always and... the worst when someone is repping something really hard and they don't get it uh, i hope you got him yeah yeah it, it really is a sad like imagine if i was not able to get my uh it wasn't able yuna. to get yuna or i wasn't able to get um sensei from we never learn it would have been devastating i think if we would have stopped the podcast i would have said sorry zen this is where we <laughs> i'm not playing this anymore <laughs> yeah. i'm not playing it anymore spider-man hang up the coat put my phone in the trash <laughs> go back to get it because i realize it's my only phone (laughs) anyway um next let's get into some of these download ones and we will quickly mention them and then if we have anyone specifically to talk about we will talk about them actually i'm gonna include the ones that are also banner ones just because it's so much oh yeah i forgot yozen he's also god damn it there's too many characters yozen who was a musoi in Uh, Musoi in Japan, he's from Hoshienji. Neither one of us knows shit about Hoshienji other than I think it is Journey to the West, but with mecha stuff. I think the art style looks pretty cool. It does look pretty cool. It's another one of those old mangas I'd really like to... It actually feels like something I should have already read. (laughs) Yeah, it does feel like a you kind of thing, doesn't it? It does, it does. And to be fair, a friend of mine said, like, I love Hoshienji. And I was like, dude, you read Hoshienji? (laughs) How is that a thing? (laughs) He's like, yeah, back in the day. Like, oh, god damn, dude. We'll talk about this later. <laughs> I will gladly look up to it at some point. Um, but yeah, he's a free... And they actually did a new structure. How do you feel about the new... Actually, they've done a lot of changes to that store. I think it's actually really awesome. <laughs> now that absolutely everything is on is something you can buy now. The the PvP store? Oh, it's yes. so much better now. Holy so shit, better. it's crazy better. So much like, better. I think, the, I think the stuff is a little bit more expensive. I don't know that for sure because I don't remember the prices. But I feel like it's a little bit more expensive. 
But at the same time, I'm willing to spend a little bit more medals to actually be able to get what I want, like in a timely fashion. Oh, it's yeah. it's unbelievably better. Unbelievably better. And they've done a... Especially because they're, there's like... Uh, tied to those legend summons is uh, ability gems and stuff. Because like when you max some of them out, you get gems for it. So it's stuck having to go through the crapshoot of hoping you could get it when there's like actual tangible payoff outside of just having the leveled up legend summon. Yeah. I was able to finally finish Lambo as well. Uh, that was, they added Lambo, so I was like, "Oh shit!" Finally, the only thing that sucks is searching. It's borderline impossible, especially. Yes, if you have to just scroll for ages. Yeah. Um, oh, they, uh, they just updated a bunch of stuff actually. As I open the game right now, oh, they, they gave us thirty-five tickets for the tenth anniversary, Ooh. or to not tenth anniversary, whatever it's ten, ten million, whatever. All right. Whatever the look. download is, we got thirty-five tickets for it that also have Uzwi on them. All right, he, I'm sure his raid is god awful, but he's on. I'm sure it is, it's, but that's not. It's Uzui and the three guys. Let me see if if I can see the raids for each individual character on here somewhere. I mean, they're free tickets. It's not like you're not going to spend. Okay, yeah, so you can see them. Uh, oh boy. All right, let's see. Where is he? Are they divided up by series? I'm guessing. Jojo. Uh, where's Demon Slayer? It's always in a weird spot. It's like way lower than. Yeah. Okay, here it is. Oh no, his raid is the same as every other five star. Is it? He's oh, not a featured five star though, okay. so he's he's zero point zero one percent. So but so is gonna... every single other five star on the banner. So fair enough. So it really is just he's the... not he's not reduced. He's not like zero 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 point one percent. Are the other ones featured, or is it literally just any five could be anybody? Where's like Bleach? Yeah, go to your important one. Let me go to Bleach. <laughs> Well, it's the only one because its its name is in English, so I can scroll really fast and still see it. Oh, that's right. You're right. Uh, Looking at we go. Uh, 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 um. Nope, there is no feature. So it has all the new units on it, but any five could be anybody. But it's 35 free summons. It is. It's and a there's a banner up as well now, uh, which is the other Demon Slayer. Li well, not all of them. It's uh, the Mark Giyu... The oh my God, Thunder dude, Flash dude. final stage Zenitsu and the Fire Tundra. These are all ten summons. <laughs> There's thirty. Are they really? <laughs> There's three hundred and thirty-five multis. Yeah, I just did one. It uh, was ten. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Okay, I take back everything we said. Why, goddamn? Why did they have to say it right when I was like, "Oh, here you go." Here's. The <laughs> I wasn't expecting him to drop fucking three hundred and fifty free multis. <laughs> What the is this? This is is this intentional? Uh, if it's not, yeah, because it says a big old ten on it. Because you can see right there it, when you look at it. Well, it's yeah, 10. but like, it, was it supposed to be three hundred and fifty units? Maybe the five star rate sucks because I have done it three has, of them. And it I has, has to, five it has yet, to so. be. Like, it's uh, chances are of you pulling it, it's still very low. Like, it's zero point. Well, even even like any five star, I feel like sucks because I've done four now and I haven't gotten a five star yet. All right, well, I'm going to save this for later. I was going to do as a joke, just do all of them real quick. But now that I see that there's 10 of them and I'm going to have to start selling shit, I'm not going to do that. We need to finish this episode. <laughs> um, so, yeah, let me sound off the rest of the dudes that we got in here. So we've got uh, Mag Magna Swing, Vanessa Inotica, Shinji Hirako, Hiryo Surugaki, uh, Zenko. Te uh, no, I'm not going to mention him. Uh, Koala. Uh go down jun ashi Ash, uh, arashiyama and mitsuru tokiado tokiado um zen how is it that with uh uzue having like three smoking hot wives that we got a fucking new zenetsu <laughs> tell me how that makes sense <laughs> well his wives do have uh character models they're in his victory animation this is bullshit i've never been more angry than the fact that we got <laughs> well, also, his wives don't do anything, do they? Like, they don't I don't fight. care. <laughs> I don't give a shit. Do you think then I again, care? I guess, like, Botan doesn't fight, and she has a unit. But... Exactly. We have so many units on it. We have dudes who cook, and you're going to tell me that the wives can't do some... They can't come up with some fake ninja shit for them to do real I quick? I will say that uh, at least it's not another Tanjiro. <laughs> I would take another Tanjiro before I would take another Zenetsu. <laughs> We so... already have so many Tanjiro's, though, bro. I guess, but maybe out of all of them, 
Especially because, you know... He's tied he, for, like, the second most units in the game at this point, I think. I would have taken new Nezuko. I would take a new Inosuke. It's specifically... Yeah, Inosuke in- almost, I think, is the one that feels like it would have made the most sense, because he only has the two units. Yeah. Then and again, I guess this is only the third Zenitsu, isn't it? It is. And he also has a new form where he can actually do the... the, 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 the where he does the thunder breathing, a.k.a. the only time someone likes him <laughs> when he's doing yeah. the cool thing. Yeah. When he's doing his one cool thing that he does. When he does the one cool thing and you go, damn, this character sucks. But then also, damn, he fights real good. And then someone shows up in your mentions and say, he gets better. And then I go, I read the manga. <laughs> I know you're lying to me. <laughs> yeah, I never really liked Zenitsu very much. No, I'm sandering him a little bit hard just because he's taking the place out of three potential women I could have gotten. Oh, but- I got my first five stars. I got Nier and uh, Dodgeball gone. All right, that's what we're. That's what we. That's what we like to see. A question mark. <laughs> they're both so, decent supports in PvP. Are, I never use them, but they're decent. They're also, I think, uh, I actually used Nier um, when I was like grow- going up in the game, so I actually do like him. I have a soft spot for him. But anyway, um, any other thoughts? I like the koalas in here. She's a One Piece character girl, and I like koala. She's the master of the. Um, she learned Fishman Karate. <laughs> She's a human who learned Fishman Karate. Uh, and there's an f- excellent picture of her with... Actually, I, I don't know if you've seen this picture of her, but I'm going to send it to you because this is her in-game art for it. Um, it's going to ask you a lot of questions about what happens eventually in One Piece, but I, I, there you go. I sent it. It's pretty good. Are those uh, seals? Yeah, those are the, the karate seals from Alabasta. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, she trains with them. And they have shirts that say koala. Yeah, because that's her name. So you know she's she's uh, with her squad. Right, <laughs> she's uh, with her squad. So, she, so all of her students must wear her name. <laughs> exactly. It's not a, a show of respect, really. I like koala, and I like that her entire story was related to the fishmen. Um, fishmen. A lot of racism, then, as always. One Piece has a, a hot topical. <laughs> as one says. does in One Piece. Exactly. It's hot. It's a hot topic of so many things, such as racism bad, and we're like, yes, we agree. And then some people go, wait, is that what one people <laughs> Yeah. Subtext. Anyway, next. Uh, the Funny enough, the World Trigger ones, I don't remember this version. Oh, I remember this version of Jun now. I was getting him confused with someone else. He looks very similar to someone else. The, um... He looks kind of like uh, uh, Jin. There's like a part of him that kind of looks like Jin. Jin and Jun. <laughs> they look very. They do. Similar. He does actually look. Oh my god! Now that I look at his sprite, it looks exactly like Jin's. It does. It looks a lot <laughs> like, like to Jin's. the point that it almost looks like they just recolored his hair. Yeah. Uh, I had almost completely forgotten about it until I looked at him. I was like, oh yeah, I remember. Okay, yes, Jun. I remember you now. And then having the bored look of everyone's... I, I, this one's actually weird, Mitsuru. No, okay. No, 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 no. Okay, Go you... to the Deku Jin crossover unit and tell me that they did not just recolor him to make Jun. Okay. De- uh, it, it really looks like they just recolored him. Yeah, it really does look like they just recolored him <laughs> for the, for the specific art. Especially because if you look at the old Jin art, he looks way different. That's the one, the stinky butt one, the one the one where I said it looks like he's doing a massive fart in the background. You can see he looks very different in that uh, sprite compared to that one. So it almost feels in like the, they, the original art style sprite. Yeah. So I feel like they may have <laughs> taken some liberties with that one just to make it a little similar. Um, yeah, World Trigger. Again, we both like World Trigger. Not really the characters I would think of most for World Trigger, though. I think it's definitely no, some yeah. weird choices, but good for the fans of these two specific characters. <laughs> And let's see. I have nothing else to say about the Black Clover characters other than I like the look of this woman called Vanessa Inotica because she's a witch and she's showing boob, and I think that's cool. Uh, and Magma Swing is a fantastic name. That also sounds like the main character name in a Shonen Jump baseball manga. Hello, my name is Magma Yes, Manga-swing. it really does. 
manga sw- mang- Ma- magna swing <laughs> i do the big swing hello everyone i don't know how to play the game baseball but i know how to do the swing i swing good i swing good do i, I actually run think he does a baseball thing or asked that does a baseball thing when he's fighting against him because his power in the beginning is like throwing fireballs and uh... asta's power is like that he negates magic because he sucks at everything else yes. and so he like baseball hits a fireball back at him with his magic sword asta's skill drain he just hits, he hits them, he pays them yeah, a thousand life points, and no one else can do anything fun. Um, very good name. And these dudes, you actually have probably something to say. Hiyori and Shinji. Which is the tiny angry girl from Bleach. Yes, and the tiny angry girl and the, the bitchin' dude with the shitty haircut. Unbelievably, I think we can find, okay, finally something we can make fun of Bleach for. This haircut is bad. <laughs> It's not. Yes, Shinji, Shinji's cut is rough. Uh, it sure is. But <laughs> uh, I love him anyway. Yeah. Um, I don't know that they do it. Uh, their stuff is not on OCHD yet. Um, yeah, I'm sure I can find it on the Discord fine. if I look. We don't. But... We don't have to go big deep into yeah. them. Yeah, they're they're not a uh, they're not limited. But uh, I really like Shinji as a character. I'm kind of bummed that I didn't get him. He's one of my favorite Bleach characters, despite the um <laughs> the haircut. I still yeah. really like him. It's a, it's a very bad haircut. <laughs> There's no one denying that. Which is funny because the Bleach dude usually draws characters like in a very like stylish ways. It's funny that for this guy specifically, he gave him like this borderline like he's ready to join the Beatles cut. <laughs> like it's not it's not of this time period. But maybe it's on purpose. Maybe there's a deep backstory to why his hair has to look this way. Make him look like some kind of British uh, pop boy from the sixties. <laughs> yeah, it's it's not good. It's better than his really long hair though, because he also has really long hair as one of his cuts, and it's not that's worse than this one. Yeah, I think I remember that one. Funny enough, I th- I don't think I've told you this before, but I actually started reading Bleach around the time he showed up because it that's when it started for when I started reading Shot and Jump mm-hmm. in the manga. <laughs> So I actually know some of the stuff that happens when he shows up. Not a lot of it, because it was like they skipped around a bunch. I don't know why they did that, but they did. So I know some of the stuff about him. So this is actually one of the very few Bleach characters where I go like, oh, I know him. He's familiar to me. I know stuff about him. But anyway, they're in. It sucks, too, because I had every Bleach character, and now Shinji came out and I don't have him, so my Bleach collection is ruined again. Man, it's hard out here, man. It's hard out here for you. It's tough. Like, it's tough for us Bleach fans. It is. They released. They could have just. It almost feels like they ripped these dudes off of the Bleach celebration and they put them over here. Slapped them over here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and finally, the two units that are actually limited: Tengen, Ozui, and Sabo. No last name. Not needed. Uzo, you actually have. Do you know what he does? Unfortunately, his info is not on OCHD at the moment. But uh, I can get it. I, I know what it does because I've seen it, but I couldn't read it to you without reading it again. So let me grab it real quick. Mm-hmm. Where are you? He's in this big ass list somewhere. Here he is. Tengen Uzbi. Dude is so fucking cool. I love this guy. Yeah. Uh, his ultimate is 500% damage to one enemy and also places a bomb on every enemy that explodes after one turn and inflicts 500% damage. So it's like another ult, basically. Uh, he charges the lemon su- legend summon gauge by thirty percent, and for three turns he boosts the ultimate attack damage of himself by fourteen percent. His buddy skill is con- or, I'm sorry, legend summon gauge by two percent unless you're in the tower, and then in the tower it's thirty percent. That's an important distinction. Buddy skill is convert the outer border of the board to rainbow, excluding black and skills. For one turn, taunt everyone to his buddy, and for three turns, boost the ultimate attack damage of green and red. And then his passive is reduce bleed damage by 4730, boost attack by 18%. If the enemy is balanced, reduce the bubbles required to create a skill and reduce damage received by 2000 or 80,000 in the tower. And if the enemy is special, reduce the damage received uh, by 1000 or 80,000 in the tower. I like him a lot. I think he's really good. Yeah, he seems pretty solid. Um specifically kind of built for pvp especially with all the stuff he does uh the 30 percent legend gauge especially um 
feel like it's specifically Sabo has a very similar of 2% in PvE, but he did not get the PvP treatment that <laughs> Uzoi got. Um, he seems really cool. Um, it's just a shame that he's coming out at like the worst possible period for me. <laughs> Where it's like, he's right next to Sabo, and if there was one of the two that I would potentially summon for, it would probably be him. I actually hope in these 10 multis, as small a chance as it is, I would gladly, I would hope to get him, and if I do, that would be pretty sick. Um, not not gonna bank my chances on that, but it would be nice to have. He's definitely one of those characters that I want to have, and if I just had just a little bit more um, stuff, and I could guarantee get him. Yeah, one, one of those that like you want him, but not enough to, to go hard. Yeah, I yes. get you. Not with yeah, kind of not with everything kind of going coming up in the future. Basically, yeah, it's hard too with like the Hunter Hunter UU stuff coming out. Yeah, again, if that was not on the horizon, I totally would get both him and Sabo. But because I know for a fact that there's two collabs coming next time, it makes it very hard for me to kind of just be like, damn, you just had to come out when you do. Hopefully later on I can pick him up and he comes out at a better time for me. Maybe a couple months down the line, one of there's some like he's a demon slayer character, so he'll get rerun every month and a half anyway. So yeah, it's true. And eventually there will be a limited ticket where it's just like only the the demon slayer limiteds are on this one. So come get him. And plus, I hear like you said, his wives are in this win animation, and that's great. Originally, the only way I would have summoned for him is if it was him with his three wives just chilling in the background. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's awesome. When whenever he wins, he just like stands up and poses like all happy. He doesn't even really do anything. He doesn't do like any crazy flourishes or anything. He just like puts his hands on his hips and smiles and all of his wives come out and like cheer him on. That's great. Yeah, that's enough to make me kind of want him, but uh I'm going to have to wait and wait for him to have a rerun and see if I can get him then. And finally, we have Sabo, the Dragon Claw, of the Rebellion, no last name needed. What does he do, Zen? Uh, that's a good question. I have to pull him up in the Discord also. Sabo. His ultimate is 538% to one enemy. If the enemy is poisoned, an additional 50. So that's like a shitload. That's 588%. Uh, charge the Legend Summon engage by 2% and recover 20,000 HP in the tower, 1,000 normally. Buddy's skill is convert a random bubble to a skill, convert a total of 7 blue, yellow, and black to red, and for one turn, guard 29% of damage received for red. Passive is reduce the number of buddies sealed by buddy skill seal for this unit by two. So I guess basically you can't seal his buddies if you seal two or less. Uh, boost his attack by 20% or 30% in the tower. On turns two, four, six, eight, and ten, reduce the number of bubbles required to create a skill bubble by three. Before his turn, convert a heart bubble to a yellow X paint that converts nine bubbles in the X pattern to yellow. I like him. I think he's good. Yeah, I think he is arguably better than Uzui, but he doesn't have quite the cool factor. I mean, I like Sabo. I think Sabo's cool. But also, um, if I'm going to get him... I oh, the, the, Funny enough, I think that I, I actually kind of like him better with the top hat on, because he has a little bit of weird, like... He has a hairstyle that reminds me of another character I don't like, which without the top hat really brings it into definition for me, which kind of sucks. Um... But yeah, I like Sabo. He's one of the he's one of the Luffy brother. He's the only yeah, he's a Luffy brother. And he has the the fire flame, so he usually does a lot of cool shit. And this is the arc where he I think this is from I wanna say it's current. It's weird because again, like a lot of One Piece characters, what they're doing when they're not a part of the main crew, it's like, what's Sabo doing right now? I'm like, last I checked, I think he was trying to free a robot man from slavery. I think that was the last thing I remember him doing. <laughs> <laughs> and uh he's a general for the revolutionary army that's looking to take down all the celestial beings so it's one of those things of like he's probably not going to get any definition until they start doing a arc where they have to take down the angel dudes who will take down the angel dudes who are just like uh modern day i guess billionaires who are above the law and they're super evil except for one of them who was like hey maybe we shouldn't do this and he, he got cast out of evil heaven for, for having a heart <laughs> he's like we should treat people better and they're like the fuck did you just say and then they put him with the regular people and then the regular people are like so you're one of the old dudes who were pieces of shit and he's like yes he's like so you're not there anymore yes and you don't have their protection anymore yes and then they immediately start beating on him <laughs> 
So a lot of good stuff there, but unfortunately, I don't. Really amazing. Think, yeah, amazing stuff going on in One Piece. Um, so I'm gonna see if I can get him when he comes out. I'll think about it. The fact again, Yu Yu Hakusho is just too big of a thing, man. It's just I, so close, it's man. I know. So close. I'm so close, and I have almost enough for two pities. And now I probably have to maybe get a little bit more if I want to do the new banner structure. If I want to basically test my luck and see if I can get some side units, because you know for a fact. The side units for uh, Hunter x Hunter and Yu Yu are also going to be related to, <laughs> are also going to come out too. So there might finally be a chance for me to get a five Kurama, uh, not Kurama, Kuwabara. And the chance of me potentially p- passing that up is just not, not something I want to do. Plus, who knows, maybe they'll finally release the, the most hype of all collab together, which is Liaru and Kuwabara. The two we actually need together. It's, that's probably what it's going to be. Like, realistically, that's probably what it's going to be. Yeah, if there was any two people they would put together, I think that would be the most sense. The two loud mouths of the teams <laughs> put them together, form the ultimate team of adult businessman and adult punk. Actually, very responsible punk, of course. Everyone knows Akubara is the responsible one of the group. How fucked up is that when you actually say that out loud? <laughs> yeah, that Kuwabara is the, the good one. Yeah, he's the one who's like, I need to get my grades <laughs> I really need and to get And he does. My life he together. gets into like a good school, doesn't he? He does uh, because that's the reason why he's not in the final arc, which is actually a bummer because I think that final arc without Kuwabara, it actually misses a lot of stuff cuz you don't have that like dumbass heart in it cuz you just have like he's like the missing sauce. If you don't have him in there, I think it ends up feeling Yeah, they weird. try to replace him with like Jin and Chu and it doesn't really work. No, you need that Kuwabara, but Kuwabara was too busy trying to be a grown-ass man with responsibilities. And I think at that point, it's like maybe the mm-hmm. ultimate character gruff of any series of in Shonen Jump history where he's like, I'm going to just really study down if I want to get into a good college. <laughs> I need to do Yeah, it's anything. like the only time. <laughs> it's the only time it's ever happened. Um, but of course, that final arc kind of suffers a little bit for not having Kuwabara, even though there's a lot of like other stuff going on. In theory, it should have been really cool. But we can talk uh, all night and day about the misgivings of the final arc of Yu Yu Hakusho, but that's not really what it's all about. It's all about the fact that these characters are fucking bitching and that we're almost going to get a new collab with them and Hunter x Hunter characters. <laughs> and that makes it very hard for me to justify spending on anything on these dudes. Yeah, it is tough to do that. Hopefully later down the road. That or I get Sabo off a ticket or something. That'd be nice. Um, that'd make me pretty damn happy. But yeah, I think that's everything, Zen. We were able to do it, and this podcast is somehow not two hours long. Somehow. My God, there's so many fucking... God, this is crazy. Yeah. Just anyone listening, go to OCHD right now and just look at the new units. It's 21. It's the biggest I've ever seen it. Yeah, I've never seen this many in such a short span of time. It's It's really crazy. It really drives home how many characters are in it. Like, even for anniversary time, I don't think anniversary dudes have this many units at once. For example, Dokkan having its anniversary, I don't think it even has 21 units over. It has, like, three free-to-play characters and four, six characters banner-wise. And that's for their anniversary, so that's ten characters. Mm Mm-hmm. Shit's wild. Shit's wild, man. This is too crazy. Oh, actually, add one more because I forgot the free-to-play one, but still. Like, even with all that in, there's just no, there's just not a lot of series that release this many characters in this short amount of time, especially because there's also a decent amount of free-to-play ones as well as the, um, uh, the banner ones, which is always nice as well, but that's it, man. Ah, uh, thank you very much for joining us, especially if you made it all the way to the end. Again, if you made it this far, remember to leave a like, because it helps, it helps me out. I actually think it uh, this gets decent views, considering that we talk for an hour about basically Shonen Jump stuff about a game that we both really <laughs> like. Yep. It's, and okay, comics half the time. Yeah, and half the time it's like tangents about like, damn, you remember manga? And we both go, yes. <laughs> Let's talk <laughs> yes. manga real quick. <laughs> remember Yu-Gi-Oh! The series that has no new units, but we still talked about for half an hour. It's, it's not our fault that Master Duel came out and has <laughs> dominated the, the conversation around Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> It's what I'm living in. When are they going to add Performa Pals, Zen? That's, <laughs> is there a manga version of Arc V? Where I there is get... a manga version of uh, Arc 5. Oh, damn. 
I'm gonna get that then. Uh, hopefully they add him in. I don't know if he uses in. Performa Pals in that though. What? What's the point then? If he doesn't have Performa Pal Donkey, then what the fuck is the point of any of this? If I can't get a Yuya Sakaki with uh, Performa Pal um, Whip Snake, then what is the point of anything that we're doing? <laughs> Even though I think if he did have a unit, it would be the Odd Eyes <laughs> Pendulum Dragon. Yes, or, it would one hundred percent be. Yeah, that'd be Odd Eyes. Uh, what does he? What does he use in this? Is it like Jaden, where Jaden's manga form uses like Terra Firma and a bunch of other weird elemental heroes? Uh, I'm looking it up right now, just out of curiosity. I have to, it's hard to find a fucking chapter where he actually duels. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, it's really hard to find one with him actually in it. Huh. Oh my god. Because it's like all of his little... Uh, so you know how in the anime they're from like other dimensions? Yes, yes. In the manga, they're his brothers who died, and now they inhabit his brain as split personalities. So they share the same body, like a Tem style. That sounds like, uh, huh, huh? Okay, <laughs> that, that's it's fucking a... ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah, it's a little bit like, a, how do we address this part where there's technically like five characters who are all the main character? What if we all put him in his brain and they all die? Okay. Basically, yeah. That's what that happens. Makes, that makes a lot of sense. Uh, oh no, he does use Performer Pals still. Okay, good. Because I was about to be very sad if he didn't use... Then does that mean he uses his brother's cards? Because his bro- because the other dudes who are uh, similar to him use like completely different cards to him. They use like raid raptors and. Uh... Yes. Yeah, so he does. They don't all use the same cards because I know like um. The synchro guy who uses like speed roids in the anime. Yes, yes, um, yes. in this one he uses like clear white dolphin or some shit. Um. The Xyz guy, I I think, does still use Phantom Knights. Uh, I I think like he does. He gets their Ace cards, but I think that's it. I don't think okay. he takes like any of their other cards. Wouldn't it be great if there was a manga chapter of him using the Phantom Knights, and it took like uh, it was like a full chapter, and he was halfway done with his turn, and then, <laughs> and then the next chapter he continues a special summoning from the grave. I banish this. I go here. Link summon <laughs> Pendulum summon. Oh, no, I guess he can't, because Link summons don't exist, so maybe it's a little bit different for the Phantom Knights now. Um, I would still like the idea of him just continuously, like, a, a Yu-Gi-Oh! manga that dedicates itself so much to the duels that, like, if you do, like, any one move would take, like, um, 22 pages, and he still would not be finished with turn one. <laughs> oh, actually, I forgot about the most, like, weird shit about the Arc V manga is, uh... There's a lot of time travel in it, and oh, Yuya is actually from the future, and Yuzu is his mother. What? Yeah, so Yuzu is is Yuya's mother, uh, and they come back. He comes back into the past and meets her, and she falls in love with him. Um, and it's then he goes back to the future. Stuff. Yes, and he goes back to the future, and she meets his father, and then the final panel of it is uh, an adult Yuzu with his dad and a child version of all of the brothers. So does he, was he his own father? No, no. Uh, his, his dad is his dad. Okay, okay. But uh, he, he comes back in time and meets his mother. Strange. Very, and, and yeah, because... she like falls in love. It's, it's a lot. Especially since I've seen Yuga's mom, and in order for Yuzu to fill out into what Yuga's mom looks like, she would need to grow up extreme in between like the sixteen age. There's no, there's a huge difference in body type between the two. Manga stuff, but anyway, that's uh, yeah. Well, yeah, it, there is a big time skip before the end. She uh, okay does she look more, more like an adult at the end. Okay, but. But does she? Okay, you know what? We'll, we'll, we'll discuss this off screen because at some point I'm, gonna, I'm afraid of <laughs> stepping into a trap that I <laughs> don't want recorded. 
But thank you very much, everyone, for watching. We will see you guys next time. Keep on playing Jampudi. Keep on playing Jampuchi. Whichever one you prefer. And we will see you guys next time to talk about the collab, finally. <laughs> we'll get to talk yeah, about it. Yeah, God. I feel like we've been waiting for that forever. Yeah, and then hopefully it will be close to anniversary, and so we'll maybe give a little bit of our thoughts about what could potentially be showing up there. But that's it, everyone. Thanks a lot for joining us, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.